First up, I hope everybody out there has a great and safe Christmas and New Year period. It's a great time of year for many people out there, but I also know it can be a really difficult time of year for some people. They can struggle mentally, so please know if you're not feeling okay, it's perfectly okay, and the best thing that you can do if you're not feeling that well is to have a conversation with somebody about it. I'll put some numbers below in the video description area. So I debated big time on whether I put this video up Reason being, I know a lot of people that click on my videos aren't gonna give two hoots with what I'm about to say, but not every channel is created equally. And on this channel, I share a bit of personal stuff, what's going on behind the scenes. And also I'm consistent, relatively consistent with my content on a weekly basis. So if I go missing for two to three months, which I'm about to have a bit of a break of that length, I think it's unreasonable for those people who do tune into my content on a regular basis not to let you know what's really going on behind the scenes and why I'm about to have a break. So that is what this video is about. So for those of you who have stuck around, can I firstly just say how thankful, how grateful I am to have your support. I know that can come across a little bit hollow coming from a YouTuber. He's probably just looking for likes on his video saying thank you for supporting me. But to give you some context, in 2017, I basically got fired from my corporate job. First time in my life that had ever happened. It was a bit of pill to swallow, but I used that opportunity to tackle a side project I've been working on with my brother-in-law for a couple of years prior to getting shown the door called Bike Chaser, online marketplace for bikes. And to cut a long story short there as well, after about 18 months, two years of working in that business, that was a failure too. I basically went from one big failure, getting fired from my corporate job, to another one and for a good two year period, I experienced a lot of self doubt. Wasn't depressed, but I was certainly quite down and amongst all that self doubt and feeling quite down, I decided in 2018, mid 2018, to create a personal cycling YouTube channel. So you can imagine what some of my friends, some of my mates and family were thinking at the time, what's Captain Failure up to? He's gonna create a YouTube channel now, this will be Good to watch let's pull out the popcorn but over the last few years you know it's grown and it's proven to be the right decision and i owe that to you on the other side of this camera computer screen for supporting my work clicking on my videos so thanks a million so what's really been going on behind the scenes this year i've become at times quite stressed and overwhelmed with not only this channel, but everything going on in life. And I've been doing a bit of reflecting on a number of facets of my life over the past few months. And something that I've recognized or something that I now have awareness of when it comes to this channel, I'll say over the past 12 to 18 months, maybe even a bit longer, I've been hooked in, mesmerized by the YouTube beast, monster, algorithm, whatever you wanna call it, I've been fixated on growing the channel, views, subscribers, being consistent with my content. And I think as a result of that, it's, I don't feel like I've been true to myself and also as a result to you. And I think as a result of that this year, my content, and I've said this before, has been quite hit and miss. And I don't wanna be the YouTuber that ends up getting burned out. And I've seen it firsthand. In fact, uh, Mark Ferguson, Cycling Maven, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but he's acted as a bit of a YouTube cycling mentor, I'd say, behind the scenes. I speak to him often. He's been a great resource for me, but watching his journey, I used to love watching his cycling videos. You know, I saw him get led to burnout, and I don't want to end up being in the same situation because it's a real shame. Cycling Maven makes great uh, YouTube cycling content, and I hope he's able to rekindle the flame at some point. So. What I've decided to do is normally after school holidays, end of January, I come back and I'm in the YouTube washing machine again. I'm starting to produce content. So I want to take an extra month, five or six weeks, just to get some headspace and to come back fresh. And of course, we've got a lot of content still to get through with the wheel comparison, speed tests, and some long-term bike reviews, etc. So they will be coming, but I'd say more in March to April next year so that is pretty much it i didn't want to just vanish for two to three months without saying anything first really appreciate your support and i will catch you in 2022